Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to the remarkable artist Gustave Corbett. Born in 1819 in Ornans, France, Corbett had an adventurous life that greatly influenced his unique style of painting. Growing up in a small village surrounded by picturesque landscapes, Corbett developed a deep appreciation for nature. This love for the outdoors is evident in his work Rocky Landscape near Ornans from 1855. Using bold brush strokes, Corbett captures the rugged beauty of the mountains and the serenity of the countryside. Corbett's passion for the outdoors extended to his fascination with animals. In his painting Deer Running in the Snow from 1856 to 1857, he showcases his mastery in depicting the graceful movement of these magnificent creatures. This attention to detail is also seen in his composition Hunting Dogs with Dead Hair from 1857, where he captures the intensity and energy of the hunt. But it wasn't just nature that Corbett focused on. He was also intrigued by the human figure, particularly women. In Woman in a Riding Habit from 1856, Corbett portrays a strong and independent woman, defying the traditional expectations of his time. Similarly, in Young Ladies on the Banks of the Seine from 1856 to 1857, he showcases the carefree and joyful spirit of youthful companionship. Corbett's ability to portray real-life scenes with incredible precision is exemplified in The Stream from 1855. Through his brushwork, he captures the movement and reflections of water, creating a sense of tranquility and realism. This attention to detail is further emphasized in his study for Les Demoiselles des Bords de la Seine from 1856, where he explores the complexities of human interactions in a natural setting. As Corbett continued to explore different subjects, he also sought inspiration from the forest. In view of the forest of Fontainebleau from 1855, he invites us to lose ourselves in the enchanting beauty of the woodland. Similarly, in the rock at Bayard, Dinant from 1856, he draws our attention to the majestic formations of nature. Finally, we cannot overlook Corbett's ability to capture the essence of individuals. In his portrait of Mrs. Leon Fontaine from 1856 to 1857, he encapsulates the personality and character of his subject through his meticulous brushwork. Gustave Corbett's life experiences shaped his extraordinary artistic vision. From his appreciation of nature to his fascination with the human form, his paintings continue to captivate audiences with their realism and depth. Join us on a journey through Corbett's world as we delve into the beauty and complexity of his art.